first tonight, a story you'll only see on 7 Action News. The seven investigators learning the Michigan State Police have investigated an extortion scheme that came from Indiana mailed to Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Good evening, I'm Amira David. You'll remember Governor Whitmer was also the target of an alleged kidnapping plot last fall. New tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast live to break down the details of this very troubling extortion scheme. Brett? Well, Amira, we've spoken to the Michigan State Police and they tell us they have investigated this and ultimately deemed the threat not credible, but it is yet another threat against state officials here in Michigan. And we spoke to a retired FBI special agent who tells us it seems these threats are becoming more frequent and more bold. In the midst of a riot in the nation's capital, where a group of pro-Trump supporters forced their way inside the Capitol building and on the heels of a bomb threat made to the Michigan State House in Lansing, the seven investigators have learned that Michigan State Police investigated yet another threat sent straight to Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I think we can safely say that the state police are aggressively pursuing this investigation. The seven investigators learned the threat was an extortion scheme from Indiana that was mailed to the governor. The anonymous sender allegedly said state employees would die unless the governor handed over $2 million in Bitcoin by January 25th, 2021. Andy Bartnowak is a retired FBI supervisory special agent. They're going to exhaust all investigative leads until they make a determination that um, either A, there's nothing else to, to pursue, or B, uh, that they've identified an individual or group of individuals Possibly a Michigan State Police spokeswoman told us, quote, the MSP takes very seriously any threats made against elected officials or others. Upon being notified of this letter by the executive office, we looked into it. Part of that review included consulting with the Michigan Intelligence Operations Center. Ultimately, it was determined not to be a credible threat. This type of communication that was sent physically through the United States post office mail system uh, would be certainly a little bit harder, but there's still things they're going to do. Bartnowak says investigators can forensically examine the letter, but it's tough to trace. He's confident a threat of this magnitude isn't taken lightly, especially in light of a thwarted kidnapping plot against the governor just months earlier. There's other things that could be going on in the background that we're, we're just not aware of. They may have sources that have provided information. Uh, somebody may have called in, a neighbor. The threat asked for the money in Bitcoin, a payment method often seen in cyber hacks. Bitcoin, you know, it's it's cryptocurrency. It's a digital transaction, and it's it's not impossible, but it's certainly very, very difficult to trace those those uh, transactions. But Bartnowak, who once ran an FBI hostage negotiation team, says paying up would likely never happen. Generally, we don't. We just generally don't because it sets a bad precedent. The safety of our nation's capital and our state capital are continuously under attack, leading Bartnowak to believe the political climate and the pandemic are creating an environment for political threats. I think people are a little bit more emboldened now. And um, uh, so I would I would think I would suspect that, yeah, the threats have have increased. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office, who told us that the Michigan State Police are the lead on this investigation. And on Monday, the Capitol Commission will be having a special meeting. And on that agenda is a review on a ban on open carry of firearms at the state capitol. Reporting live tonight, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.